people and butterflies. Today we're going to look at about eight, seven or eight native plants that are ideal for adult pollinators as far as supporting them. We'll start in the spring with geranium maculatum, a wild geranium, nice ground cover, bunching plant will slowly spread around by seeds, will sometimes rebloom into the summer, but you can definitely uh, have a good, long, reliable bloom time in the spring. Uh, later on in spring, say May or even early June, Zizia aurea, golden alexanders. There's also Zizia aptera, host plant to black swallowtails. You see some small carpenter bees enjoying the pollen here, so you have a great diversity of bees on this plant in late spring. Dahlia purpurea, purple prairie clover. There's also white prairie clover, which is Dahlia candida. Um, this one will only bloom for about two weeks in early to midsummer, but man, there's a lot of things coming on it. And then we also have our mountain mints, Pygnathemum. This is Pygnathemum virginianum, likes medium to moist soil. There's Pygnathemum tenuifolium, which likes it a little bit drier. Leaves are very minty, you can use them in your food, but you will see tons of adult pollinators. Great diversity on this one as well. We also have Eryngium mucifolium, rattlesnake master. This is probably one of the taller plants on this list. Gets about three to four feet tall, wide range of soils, except for very dry um, y y yucca-like leaves. So very interesting contrast in the native plant garden. Um, another tall one, which is about four feet tall in medium to moist soils, is Culver's root, Verona castrum virginicum. Wonderful uh, winter seed heads, a spiky candelabra effect going on. So it looks great in the off season. We cannot forget our solidagos. If you follow me, if you if you have followed me for any length of a time, you know that I like zigzag the goldenrod solidago flexicollis. It's a great shade plant, dry shade. It will also take um, sunnier conditions if it has plentiful, consistent moisture. So any of our goldenrods work. Any of our asters really work. These are probably two of the most important plants for fall migrating and overwintering insects and bugs. This is smooth aster, Symphiotrichum lev. Give it a try. It's about three feet tall. Tons, tons of action. And don't forget that all these native plants, they're not only supporting adult insects and bugs, but they're also supporting their larva. So never forget that our plants are doing multiple things at once. Happy planting and prairie up.